Hello everyone, welcome back to Lucky Loaders 15 and instead of giving you my normal Lucky 15 predictions I'm going to be previewing the card at Wincanton tomorrow. Now some of you might be asking why am I doing that? That's because on Wincanton race days I often help out and do their social media and I start there early in the morning and I do all the Twitter and the Facebook and the Instagram but I haven't been able to uh, go there for quite a while over the last few months. That's because I've been doing my university work placement without the races. But that finished about a month ago now. And I'm now free to go back and help them out for the remainder of the season if they would want me. But um, yeah, I used to do quite a lot of the social media towards the early part of their season. And if you followed me on my YouTube channel, you would know that I often did a lot of these previews when it was their race meeting. So that's what I'm going to be doing for tomorrow. I'll preview all eight races, giving you my selections for each race. Also as well, I just want to mention that I, I hope some of you were on our selections for the Scottish Grand National today. We did pretty well. We found the winner with Joe Farrell at 33-1. to 1. I saw it at 40-1 to 1 in some places when I was tipping it up with some bookmakers and I hope some of you are on board I put a nice little bit of money on it and got a very nice decent return so I'm really happy and I believe that's the biggest winner I've ever tipped up in about the year I've been doing this YouTube channel so I hope some of you are on it and also as well labeled there's a bow that I put up finished creditably in sixth place and luckily the bookmakers I was with Skybet were paying six places on the race did it each way so I made a nice little bit of each way return there so all in all it was a pretty good day for me on the Scottish Grand National I hope some of you had some uh, good uh, runners in that race had the winner or had some decent each way bets so let us know if you did okay on the Scottish Grand National anyway enough of me blagging on about my Grand National success today we'll get stuck into the first race at Wincanton tomorrow good card there tomorrow very strong uh, races on tomorrow they got eight races and it's the 215 it all kicks off tomorrow going with a horse called malachite around about five to two bookmakers at the moment trained by nicky henson who's going to be champion trainer again probably this year nico de boinville been booked for the ride there main stable jockey now this uh, horse had some ver fair bumper level ability it finished third in a bumper ass got behind a horse called port rush ted which has subsequently gone on to win one of the major bumpers at the entry festival a couple of weeks ago so obviously he's got some decent bumper form on there made its hurdle debut last time out and it won very convincingly beating a few good types in that race so i thought tomorrow at five to two it could be the one to maybe give the current favorite blue cavalier who's been a good performer i saw it at taunton and i interviewed lorcan williams and it was a good performance there but i just wonder maybe tomorrow he might just find one or two maybe a little bit too good in the race and could be some dangers in it and i thought malachite could be the one that could provide the most danger to blue cavalier so for me malachite five to two is going to be our first selection to kick us off the next selection then goes in the 250 in the second race quite a wide open handicap one that caught my eye that i thought could be a good each way bet tomorrow is a horse called Oscar's leader around about 12 to 1 trained by Joe Davis who's a very good trainer but maybe doesn't get the enough recognition she deserves David Bass takes the ride tomorrow always does quite well at Wincant and gets quite a few winners when he does get the ride there makes its handicap debut tomorrow off a mark of 122 and last time we saw it it finished a fair fourth in a decent novice hurdle behind the likes of Euxton Lane also as well Molyneux was in that race of Colin Tizard so there was some good horses in there and it ran fairly creditably and I thought really at 12 to 1 if it can maybe run a good respectable race it could make the frame and with some bookmakers paying four places tomorrow it could go well and I thought 12 to 1 was a fair each way price so that would be the selection for me in the 250 in the 320 quite a close competitive race I thought in the betting and the one that appealed to me was a horse called Wilbur Dragon tra trained by Charlie Longston Paul O'Brien conditional jockey takes five pounds off tomorrow this horse won I remember seeing it in the flesh when it won in October over course and distance and quite command and style it often runs from the front and I thought even though it is still only eight years old it still had a lot more potential as a chaser and it could go well it would like the good ground it's got some fairly good form and even when it was running in defeat the sum of that form such as the run at Sandown was pretty good performance so I thought Wilbur Dragon ran about 13 to 2 at the moment could be a good each way bet in the race tomorrow so that's the selection in the 320 the 350 is the military race and I was there for their meeting last year and I had the winner of this called Mighty Missile the one that appealed for me for this year's renewal was Canoodle. Around about 92 bookmakers at the moment, trained by Hugh Morrison, who you often more associate with the flat. 
and Major Harry Wallace takes the ride tomorrow, taking seven pounds off, priced around nine to two bookmakers at the moment. I thought this was probably the best horse on paper in the race with its handicap form. It's got some very strong handicap form. When we last saw it a few runs ago over hurdles, it finished fifth at Doncaster behind a very good horse of Emma Lavelle's, who you might remember we tipped up before, called Wallstone One, which won a very good mare's listed race at Warwick. Also, as well, it's got some strong form behind Maria's benefit. So, Really, it's been running in some good races, and if it can turn up tomorrow and show the class it's been running against, it could go very well. And I thought at 9 2, he could be a good bet in the race tomorrow. The next race is then in the 425, and I thought the class horse in the race was a horse called Irish Prophecy. It's a favourite at the moment. 15 08 bookmakers, trained by Emma Lavelle and Adam Wedge, who takes the ride, who rode the winner in the Scottish Grand National today, will be taking this ride, like I said, tomorrow. Now, this horse has got some fairly good form. It was two from two in bumpers and then it made a winning hurdle debut at Sandown, ran a fair race next time out, but then at Kempton over the Christmas period, wasn't so good, but did have a few excuses that day. The ground was probably a little bit too soft for it. It's going to be returning to its more favourable ground tomorrow, described as good to soft at the moment with bookmakers, and I thought if it turned up tomorrow and could show some improvement, it was the one they all had to beat. So that's a selection there. The 4.55, probably my nap on the card tomorrow, horse called Gorilla Tactics, trained by Jeremy Scott, who always does very well at Wing Canton. Nick Schofield as well, never a good jockey who, who always does well at Wing Cant and takes the ride. He's had a few, fair few good months recently, riding plenty of winners for lots of different stables. Fell last time out over the course at Wynn Canton, but before that had some very good form on good ground. One earlier in the season, back in the autumn, beating a horse of Colin Tizard's called Cucklington, who's had a very good season, been very progressive. He's won quite a few races, so if it could run anywhere near that ability in a race which was quite weak, still being only eight years old, I thought it was one they all had to beat tomorrow. Currently 11 4 with bookmakers at the moment, and for me, that's a very good uh, win bet there. So that's the selection in the 4.55. Then to end the card tomorrow, they've got two bumpers, two divisions. In the first division, I thought they were both strong. I did like the, the horse of Philip Hobbs in the first race called uh, Tidal Flow. But I just thought maybe giving away a penalty tomorrow, there could be a few in here that look on paper that could maybe challenge it. One that caught my eye was a horse called Newton Boy. Ran about 6-1 to one with bookmakers at the moment. Trained by Alan King. Very good, powerful stable. His horses are starting to run better now. And most of his horses run on good ground. They've had a few decent uh, runners in the last few days. And I thought this one was very interesting. Cost £100,000 as a three-year-old. Owned by Paul and Claire Rooney, who are very good horse racing owners that you should always follow very closely related to some good horses this horse called abigail's lynch lieutenant gruber and tannet river all very good progressive horses and i've bought six to one tomorrow he could maybe make the frame could be a good each way bet for the race last race is in the six o'clock and i'm going with bang on round about 15 or two but makers at the moment trained by jeremy scott who we've already mentioned about nick schofield takes the ride got some fairly good bumper form two seconds at fontwell when it beat the flying sofa who was a good bumper horse for gary moore and also as well finished uh, in a close second behind a good horse of uh, Fergal O'Brien's called Time to Move On which is also owned by the Rooney so got some very good form and I thought uh, around about 15 to 2 but makers at the moment he could be a good each way bet and he could uh, put his experience to bed on quicker ground so they're the selections for Win Canton tomorrow let us know what you think will run well tomorrow also as well please subscribe to the YouTube channel here at Lucky Loaders 15 you can also follow me on Twitter under the same name that's all I've got to say please gamble responsibly and